Hi YouTube, my name is Jack, and today we are going to talk about polytheism. Uh, I just got back from a run, and while I was out running I was thinking about gods and paganism and witchcraft and all that sort of stuff. And um, in particular I was thinking about the relational nature of religious worship. Um, this is something that's been on my mind a lot. It's kind of a big project for me for this year to really dig into understanding my religious and magical practices in relational terms and thinking about how they connect me to other people, to other spirits, and so on. Um, and one of the most important kinds of relationship there, of course, is the relationships that I have with deities. Um, I am a polytheist. I believe in and worship multiple gods. Um, but sometimes I also feel like I'm kind of a bad polytheist. Because while I believe in lots of gods, um, I don't actually actively worship all that many of them. Um, and largely that's because worship is a lot of work, y'all. Like... If we think about worship, veneration, devotion, whatever kind of words you want to put around the relationships that you're building with gods, um, even if you take sort of more of an atheistic approach or a psychological approach where you think of gods as maybe archetypes or aspects of the unconscious, right? What, whatever terms you're framing this in, um, religious practice with deities is about forming a relationship. It's about cultivating and then maintaining a relationship between yourself and one or more deities in whatever terms you understand them. And if we think about it in those terms, um, it suddenly becomes very obvious that relationships are a lot of work, right? It, you have to put a great deal of effort and time into cultivating relationships with deities the same as with other human beings. Uh, having relationships is a lot of effort and it's worth it, right? Like we put in that effort and it pays off and it builds a strong community for us. And like, I'm not saying that the effort it requires is a bad thing, but worship is a form of relationship and all relationships, everything that connects us to another person or another spirit, whatever you want to say, um, is work. And the more relationships you're introducing into your life, the more work you have in cultivating those, particularly if they're very close, strong, intimate relationships. Um, and not every relationship is intimate, right? You have some friends who you talk to every day, you know all their darkest secrets, they know all of yours, and if they call you in the middle of the night and they need to bury a body, you're picking up the phone. And then you have other friends who, you know, maybe you catch up with them every couple of weeks and you get lunch together and you touch base and they're a part of your life, uh, but it's not nearly as intimate. And there's a whole, you know, spectrum of relationships between we are on incredibly close intimate terms and we are always together versus, uh, you know, you're a part of my life and I enjoy having you in my life, but we're not terribly intimate. Um, and there's you know, a whole range in between there. And that's true of human interpersonal relationships and that also transfers to uh, divine relationships or relationships of worship. So in my own religious practice, um, I am first and foremost a Gardnerian Wiccan. I am a priest of two particular deities, the Mother Goddess and her consort, the Horned God, uh, who are, at least in my strand of initiatory Wicca, uh, sort of the patron gods of my religion. And that's a very close, very intimate and demanding relationship. Uh, those are the primary gods that I worship. There is also sort of a, because I am a priest of those gods and not merely a worshiper, uh, my role in the priesthood has certain incumbent responsibilities that require more work and more effort from me than if I were just sort of worshiping these gods and didn't have any kind of a formalized relationship with them, right? If you're, if you're a priest, you got to pick up the phone in the middle of the night when someone needs to bury a body. Um, and 
so those relationships take up a lot of my time. And honestly, I don't really work terribly closely with many other deities. I caught myself rambling, so we're gonna cut the video and start again here. I have these incredibly close, intimate, and frankly demanding relationships with the gods of Wicca. And it's not that I don't have relationships with other deities, uh, but I simply can't maintain more relationships than that at that level of intimacy, right? That level of work that goes into what I do as a priest of the Wicca. I don't have the energy or the hours in the day to put that much work into relationships with half a dozen other deities as well. And that's not to say that I don't have relationships with other deities. I have a practice of Slavic polytheism um, that sort of comes and goes. You know, currently I'm in a bit of a fallow period with that, um, but it's always sort of there in the background. Uh, but those are sort of, my relationship with those gods is more like the friends that you get lunch with every couple of weeks, as opposed to the friends that you share all of your deepest, darkest secrets with and have a really close relationship with. Um, I had an ongoing devotional relationship with Baba Yaga for several years. Um, that recently came to a close, and I think part of the reason that that came to a close, I mean, Baba Yaga is not exactly a deity, but the way that we classify spirits is somewhat arbitrary and messy anyway. But I had a, this devotional relationship with the spirit, um, and I think part of the reason that that relationship came to a close uh, is that if I were to continue that relationship, I would have had to put more into it and bring it up to or even perhaps over the level of the amount of work that I put into my relationship with the Wiccan gods. And that was just not something that I was in a position to do, right? From the outset, for every relationship that I have initiated um, with any kind of a deity or spirit has always come with the caveat that as a priest of these gods, um, I place my relationship with them first. Uh, you know, if you sort of think about, uh, I've been talking about relationships in terms of friendships, but you can also talk about it in terms of romantic relationships. If you think about polyamory, some people practice a form of hierarchical polyamory, where they have a primary partner or a primary set of partners, and those relationships are the ones that take precedence um, over other relationships if there needs to be sort of a determination of where energy and time and attention gets prioritized. And that's kind of my attitude with relationships of worship, right? Is that I have this relationship with the Wiccan gods and that comes first and that demands a lot of me. And it's not that I'm not interested in other gods or that I don't care about other gods or that I don't believe in them. Uh, I, I, you know, do believe in and am very interested in lots of other gods, but I just don't have the energy to cultivate those relationships at the level of intimacy um, that I have with these other gods. And so I think, you know, we sometimes have this picture of polytheists as having like, a, you know, a real deep, passionate, constantly devoted relationship with the whole of the pantheon of, you know, Greece or whatever. And um, there are people who do that. And there are people who really throw themselves deeply into the worship of, uh, you know, the whole dodecatheon or whatever. It's just not me. I just don't have the energy for it. Um, and, you know, I, like, I'm satisfied with the relationships that I have. Um, those relationships are very meaningful to me. And every now and then another relationship comes in. I had a very brief relationship with the goddess Hrianon. Um, Hrianon, I think, is um, my Welsh pronunciation is not good. But, you know, the Welsh horse goddess. Um, so, I, you know, I have other relationships and they come into my life and they're meaningful. They're an important part of my religious practice. Uh, but I always prioritize certain relationships um, in a way that doesn't necessarily fit with, I think, the image of what we sometimes think polytheism looks like. Caught myself rambling again. Here we go. 
Um, I think the point that I'm trying to make is that people have different kinds of social lives in their interpersonal human relationships. Some people have a wide network of friends. Some people have a very small, close-knit network of friends. And analogously, uh, there are many different kinds of relationship structures that exist in polytheistic worship. Wiccans sometimes get accused of duotheism. Um, and certainly there are some Wiccans who are duotheistic. From the outside, my religious practice almost looks duotheistic because I worship these two gods almost, you know, at the expense of any other divine relationships. But it's not that I don't believe in any other gods or think that they're worthy of worship. Uh, it's just that I have <laughs> my two best friends, and that's my really close-knit social circle. And then the other relationships that I have end up being much more casual. Um, and when I first started practicing paganism, I at least had an idea in my head of what polytheism was supposed to look like, and it wasn't that. The idea that I, as a polytheist, might have two really, really close relationships with deities, and then the rest of them not so much, was kind of unthinkable to me. Um, and so, I don't know, I, I'm just mulling over, uh, I guess, some of the unexpected ways in which uh, individual religious practice can take on its own structure. And the way that my relationships with deities look is not going to be the way that someone else's relationships with deities look, uh, because people have different needs. And some people need a lot of connections. Personally, I need fewer, um, partly because I just don't have the energy for it. But, you know, I'm, I'm, it's still polytheism. Even though I'm not actively worshipping nearly as many gods as some of the people out there, um, it is still a polytheistic religious practice. It's just one where the relationships are structured kind of differently. So I think that's more or less what I wanted to say today. Um, my brain's a little fried because I just exercised, so I'm going to cut this off here before I start rambling even further. Thank you for listening, and I will talk to you sometime soon. Bye.